Po' Boy Special here. Today we're going to do a test on the See All Open Sight. And what we've decided, we put it on a Heritage Arms Rough Rider. We wanted to show you that this Heritage Arms Rough Rider was drilled and tapped by our gunsmith, Scotty. And this rail, we wanted to show you the size of it. It's not quite an inch. And yes, the see all sight did fit onto it. So if you have a rail that's an inch or less, or just a little bit less, it will fit on there and it will work because you saw us do it. So we just wanted to show you that and and you can see we have it already installed, very quick and easy. And we're going to see how long it takes to side it in. We're probably going to be about oh 10 yards or so and Let's see how it performs. After we get it sighted in, we're going to do a couple of uh, quick shot activities and see what kind of target acquisition it has. Let's get to it. All right, this one about 10, in between 10 and 15 feet away to start out at. All right, it looks like we're going just a little bit low and just a little bit to the left. So let's make some adjustments and do a couple more groupings and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, we made our adjustments and we reloaded, so let's see how we do this time. Same distance, same everything. Looks like we're still just a little bit left, and but the elevation seems to be okay. So we're gonna do one more time with a See if we can get it go just a little bit more to the right. All right, as you can see, I patched up the holes. Let's see what we get this time. We uh, adjusted it, see if we can make it go to the right just a little bit more. See what happens. Looks like we're almost there. Just a little bit more up and a little bit more right, and I think we'll have it. All right, this time we've added an orange dot to the top, and we're gonna be aiming for that orange dot on the top, not the one in the center, because we got too many holes, so we're aiming for the orange, same ammo, same distance, here we go. Well, the last shot hit the dot, so the other two were kind of all over the place. I know one of them was shooter error. I know that, uh, this one I know I pulled, and that one I know I pulled, so that's not bad. I may uh, go back and try one more time. All right, this time we put the orange dot below the target. It's right here below the target. Same distance. We made a little adjustment. Let's see what we get. take a look. Alright, there's my last grouping and as you can tell this is what I was aiming for. I got two touching it and three right around it and it's all within a fingers distance from about oh, 15 20 feet so that's pretty good. I'm, I may make one more adjustment one more time and, and see what I get, but uh, that, that's pretty good for right out of the box, and we put probably, what, 20, 25 rounds through it or so. Not bad. All right, this time we're going for the lowest orange dot, and that dot should be that one right there. That's the one we're aiming for right there, not the one we just shot at, but the lowest one right there. Same ammo, same everything. We made just a little bit of adjustment. Let's see how we do. Well, as you can see, the adjustments were merited. And that, I hit it twice. And this time the grouping is less than my finger. So we're talking a less than an inch. There you go. So it took me probably about 25, 30 rounds to side it in. And you're supposed to only do three 
round shots that I did five rounds uh, so I used a little bit more ammo than normal than what you're supposed to but that's okay so there you go that's straight out of the box and that's like I said with the uh, Heritage Arms Rough Rider there you go that's what it looks like and if you want to see what it looks like straight down what I was looking at there it is all right so all right now we're going to do target acquisition how fast can you acquire the sight and shoot and get an accurate shot now that we've sighted it in so we're going to be aiming for the black dot above the target that's right we're going to be aiming for the black dot right there just above the big target there so you'll see me shooting and uh, let's get to it Five rounds from about 10, maybe 15 feet. go check out how I did all right for target acquisition five rounds one of them hit the bullseye so I got one two three four five so there you go and that dot just to give you an indication is smaller than my index finger and my fingernail it's smaller than a dime it's smaller than a penny so from about 10 15 feet that's kind of the shot grouping that I got and you saw me do it and you saw how quickly we brought it up on target and one in the center so that's it and you decide whether or not that's good enough for you but after we sighted it in and that's kind of good results there like I said you can everything's within two fingers and that's not bad for a little bitty revolver and a 22 so everybody wanted to know well what ammo were we using and uh I'll just go ahead and tell you and show you we weren't even using 22 long rifle we were using shorts that's right 22 short from CCI and if you want to know what it is I'll go ahead and show you here it's 27 grain hollow point there you go that's what we were using so we were using shorts out of very small revolver barrel and uh, you see it all on the Po' Boy Special Channel.